Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. Um, yeah, maybe I only do well in the dynamic program problems, but let's go over today's problem. Uh, get the maximum score. Today, uh, the contest 200 um, hard question. Uh, so yeah, so basically you could choose from, the problem asks you that you can choose from any, uh, you, know, you could choose from nums one or nums two, um, and you could have an index of, um, you know, you, you just go through the index from left to right, and you could jump from the same number, right? And the score is the sum of the unique values in the path, and you have to mod it by 10. Uh, so I think one thing to note is that it's actually really tricky to, uh, for in a general case, to return the max number by after modding it, or like you have to do some math about the proofs. But the thing if you, is, if you look at the um, the constraints, uh, each number could be only be 10 to the 7th, uh, the length can be only be 10 to the 5th, so that means that the maximum number is going to be 10 to the 12th, which fits in a 64-bit integer, which means that you can actually store the maximum as a 64-bit integer and then mod it at the very end. Uh, it's a little bit nuanced, but that's the way I would think about it. Um, yeah, uh, and then for dynamic programming, what is the states, right? There are only a couple of states. Um, the thing going from, so basically you add a cell every time uh, and you're given the index and you're either on the nums one or nums two. So that's pretty much your state and that's the way I think about it. Uh, I have some lookup tables so that I could look up going from nums one to nums two and so forth uh, and backwards. Um, and then I have the score function that, okay, if I'm at the end of the first array, uh, return zero. If I'm at the end of the second array, return zero. Uh, and the first is just, you know, index is index. First is um, which uh, which array you're in. Uh, and of course, there's two times n unique uh, inputs, and each of them does all of, roughly all of one work. So that means that this is linear time, uh, or two times n, which is good enough. Uh, so I did this recursively. In retrospect, I should have done it uh, bottoms up maybe because I ran into issues with recursion limit in Python. I added this and it worked out okay, but it did cost me five minutes, which dropped my rank from seventh-ish to 25th, which is, I don't know, just for bragging rights, it'd be nice to be in the top 10 because it's been a while. But, uh, but yeah, but the thing here is, okay, so what are the transitions, right? So the transition is, okay, we're in the first array, uh, first element, we just add the score to go from current index to the next index, right? So that's what this line does, and this that's also what this line does, but for the second uh, array, right? And then the the thing to model the jump from the arrays is that now we have a lookup table, um, and we don't want to, we just want to make sure that it doesn't um, jump back and forth. So what we do is that we we change the the array that we're in, and then we just use the lookup table, assuming that it is in the lookup table, and then we just go to one right of that. And because, um, and then the scoring is just that every time you go from left to right, it is always going to be a unique value, so you just add that score. Uh, even if you jump to the other array, well, you just have to make sure that you don't count the same index twice, and because they're, you can only jump when they're the same uh, value, that means that by definition, um, by definition, if you move one to the right and just kind of once, that'll be okay. So that's pretty much all I did, and I kick it off by making sure that we start from this, uh, the first index and the second index, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the issue that I have, again, is because 10 to the fifth, and I ran into recursion limit, which cost me five minutes. Uh, kind of sad, actually. But, uh, but yeah, and now you can watch me solve this live right about now. Was the current of some of the unique path or path? Oh, jeez.
just so I don't forget. That's it, is that even true? Oh, there's some of them. Hmm. <coughs> Ten to seven. That's ten to the twelve. That's just a long. Okay. This is not what we need to do.
Mm, okay. Come on. Oh, oh you got to be kidding. <sighs> what is that thing again? Uh, what a silly mistake. 